the reality and fiction of exorcism. Well, I know for a real, for once, uh, one reality and one uh, experience I had, where a man had the face, half his face was the face of a donkey. And that was in the church of St. Gerasimus in the island of Cephalonia. One summer that we had gone there, and they have beautiful beaches there for swimming, by the way. And we went for vespers with my mother-in-law, and we saw him, and the man standing behind us says, Oh, he's much better now. You should have seen him years ago. He says, We moved to, from Athens here because my daughter was so de demon-possessed. They were tying her with chains, with heavy chains, and she used to bust them as if they were small little tapes. And uh, we came here, and this is where she was uh, relieved of the demonic entities, and we stayed there since then. He, sold, he said, We sold everything in Athens. We moved to here. And now she's married and has two children, he said to us. So there are such things as demonic possessions, and uh, but there are those who are charlatans and uh, try and fool people, telling them that they're demon-possessed and trying to cure them. So there's both reality and fiction. Now the Vatican's Guide to Conducting Exorcism states that the signs of a demonic possession include overhuman strength, aversion to holy water, also in the Christian Orthodox, aversion to um, the uh, incense that we burned for God, also the ability to speak in unknown languages, as well as spitting, blasphemy, blasphemy, and excessive, okay, they see here, masturbation. Now, the belief in demonic possession of people is a constant source of terrifying plots, in addition to one of the most widespread beliefs among religious, religions around the world. Although manifestations change between cultures and religions, some of the signs of possessions are these. Alert, uh, alerted memory and personality, seizures, nervous attacks, fainting, no agnosis, that's access to hidden knowledge, glossolalia, access to unknown languages, drastic changes in intonation and facial structure, apparition of wounds or injuries without apparent reason, superhuman strength. The earliest reference comes from the Sumerians who believe that all diseases of the body and death were caused by demons of disease. To combat them, doctors or Asu applied bandages, salvia, and other remedies, while the uh, Shipu, the wizards, prayed to certain gods to ask for protection from the demon or the expulsion of the same from the body of the affected. The word exorcism comes from the Greek word exousia, which means oath. Exousia actually means authority. Uh, religious scholar James R. Lewis explains in his book Satanism Today, an encyclopedia of religion, folklore, and popular culture, that exorcism means putting the spirit guest under oath rather than expel him, invoking a higher spiritual authority. That is why a priest invokes the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This practice is consistent with shamanics who attribute possessions to a vengeful spirit, not a demon as such, that can be either an animal spectrum or a, disease, a deceased person affected in life by the patient. To get rid of the evil spirit, the shamans establish offerings and sacrifices to the beings. The most widespread concept of Judeo-Christian in the Bible six times appear in which Jesus expels, expelled demons that have permeated in other beliefs. Spiritualism, which flourished in the late 1800s, preach that death is an illusion and therefore that spirits have the ability to possess human bodies. New Age believers also accept the concept channeling, which indicates that the spirits of the dead inhabit the medium's body to communicate with the living through them. Fictional exorcisms. The fascination of mankind for demonic possessions has been effectively exploited by Hollywood and its numerous movie premieres on the subject. Based on a true story, it tracks avid viewers of an experience similar to the classic The Exorcist, released in 1947 and adapted from a novel by William Peter Blatty. Blatty, The Exorcist was an absolute sensation which caused, among other things, hundreds of petitions to Catholic centers for exorcisms. The story is based on a, an article published in 1949 in the Washington Post about the possession of a child which was not nearly as dramatic as that portrayed in the film, the author of The American Exorcism, expelled, Expelling Demons in, in the Land of Plenty, 
Michael Cuneo blames the tape and its author of the modern interest in the phenomenon. However, he describes Blatty's work as one laden with fantastic elements, sensational details, and exaggerated situations. The reality of exorcisms. Outside the big screen, exorcisms are perpetual and very real practice applied to people with mental and emotional disorders. In this respect, science speculates that the success of exorcism is due to the power of suggestion. That is, if you think you are possessed and that an exorcism will cure you, it could be effective. The Vatican has officially guides the has official guides to carry out exorcism since 1614, revised in 1999. In it, the signs of demonic possession include overhuman strength, aversion to holy water and the ability to speak in unknown languages, as well as spitting, blaspheming, and excessive masturbation, they said. In addition to the exorcists who follow the practices established by the Vatican, there are a handful of them sanctioned by the Catholic Church around the world. Michael Cuneo attended 50 exorcisms on the tape during the research for his book and assured that he never saw something supernatural or inexplicable, no levitation, no head spinning, demonic scratches or anything like that, but people emotionally unstable on both sides of the ritual. And this is on Infinite Explorers by Anj Srivastava. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.